Fred Marshall, Kathy McDonald bringing the horses postward now for race number two, tonight's second half of the Daily Double. These conditioned trotters racing one mile, purse of $2,000. There are no changes, nine minutes until post time. Here's the lineup. The one is Date Book, owned by Dean Davis of Worcester. Mike Empler, the trainer, Jeff Fount driving. The two mighty comer, owned by Dana and Sherry Edens of Johnstown. Mike Matters, the trainer, Brad Hanner's driving. The three, copy the message shown by Ernie Evans of Bainbridge. Jim Willems trains Ron Stackerboard. The four, I'm just a kid, owned by Burton Walker of Sunbury. Mike Walker, the trainer driver. Number five, agnostic, owned by Henry Zaldassi of Greenwich, Connecticut. Greg Diamond trains Don Irvine Jr. From post six comes active Rachel, owned by Amalol Patel of Springfield. Jeff Smith, the trainer and driver. Number seven, choreography, owned, trained, and driven by Rick Heitman of Lebanon. And coming from the outside is the eight, Mary Score. She's owned by Billings driver Harold Breidenbaugh of Lima. Harold Dick is the trainer and the driver. When play show perfecta and... Second race, condition trotters on the back stretch. Here's the start. And uh, they're off. And first away, it's the five at Gnostic as he powers for the lead. The three year line, just a kid, is off stride here and off the rail came Date Book. Down to the inside and trotting a three. Copy the message on the inside and fourth. It's active Rachel. And I'm just a kid recovering quickly here. Is now trotting a fifth along the rail and racing a sixth mighty comer. At the rail, seventh choreography. The trailer is Mary Score. Reaching that first quarter mile marker, the opening panel reached in 30 seconds flat on the one horse date book is off stride of the one on a break. And that leaves copy the message in the two spot, followed by active Rachel. Fourth at the rail, I'm just a kid who continues to trot away here on the outside, is back into contention. Mighty Comer right at his heels. Choreography at the rail is trotting a sixth and recovering nicely from his break. Date book is now to the outside seventh. Mary Scorer continues to trail. Approaching the half, it's all been agnostic to this point, has led every stop of the mile, the half at 102 and to three fifths. Agnostic at five to two, sends him to the back stretch, still by two lengths. Inside, copy the message, has yet to move, and here comes I'm Just a Kid. A big trip this evening off that break leaving. He's now second and at the leader's wheel, posing a serious threat. In the pocket, Mighty Comer is trotting a fourth. At the rail five is active Rachel. And Date Book back into contention on the outside. But she has her work cut out here. She's some five lengths from off the front. Here's the three quarters now, 132 and four. Around the final turn in Ed Gnostic. She looks to wire the field here and looks strong to this point. Outside and still there, pressuring a second. As they move to the upper turn, I'm just a kid. And copy the message on the inside, yet to move third. Now last center an eighth of a mile ago. And down the stretch they come on the front Ed Gnostic. She opens a, her lead by two, two and a half. I'm just a kid now racing for the two spot. Mighty Comer coming strong, but it's Ed Gnostic at the wire. I'm just a kid hangs on for second over Mighty Comer. Top of the mile, 202, one fifth. Into the winner's circle now, the unofficial winner of the second, number five, Agnostic. She, a four-year-old Ohio-bred daughter of Tabor Lobel from Medin Excels by XL Hanover. Oh, by Henry Zaldassi of Greenwich, Connecticut. Greg Diamond, the uh, trainer, Downer Vine Jr. in the Sulky. Her first start off of the season. She makes it a winning one. Tonight's mile on the sloppy track, 202 and 215.